is true that if you do that, people will start to notice you. But the problem... Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk again about the attraction marketing truth the five simple you know organic steps to getting the sale and number three out of five is engage on posts of your most targeted prospects you can get this ebook at attraction marketing truth and we're going to talk about that exact number three in just a second but first this so the real question is this, what are the strategies, techniques, and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now? My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. All right, so I'm sure you've heard about attraction marketing, personal branding, growing your brand, growing your audience on Facebook and on other social media platforms. And today we're going to talk about exactly that part of it, which is engaging on the right posts. Now, how do you know what are the right posts? Before we get into that, I want to remind you, if you're listening to the audio of this, you're going to want to go check out the video at cis453.jsgagnon.com because of course I'm going to be sharing my screen and there's going to be a blog post as well. All right, so let's get right to it. Let me share my screen and kind of talk to you about what I mean. Let's go over here. All right, so you're on Facebook, you're scrolling through your feed, you're going to engage on the post that you see in your feed, right? That's basically what Facebook wants you to do. They want you to engage on the post on your feed. They just want you to, you know, follow their lead, right? Follow what they say, do what they want you to do so you know most people that's what they do and that's what leaders teach as well they teach to just do the engagement keep going keep going eventually you know it's going to work eventually people are going to start to notice your stuff they're going to start to and you know what that is true right that is true that if you do that people will start to notice you but the problem is after a while after a while you're going to notice that you see always the same people's stuff always the same posts always the same the same and you're engaging on the same people's stuff and the same people are seeing your stuff right that's basically what it's all about and that doesn't scale it doesn't work for a long uh, for a while right it works in the beginning maybe maybe the first six months maybe the first year even maybe the first two years it works if you do it that way but after a while you're going to notice that like I said you see all the same stuff so you what do you do to go find new people now you could use tools that help you to automate things to uh, send friend requests uh, you know like I mean I've seen these tools that tell you to go do this right they tell you to go to the group and if I go to this group here for example that I'm in Zach Zach Crawford's group he's a you know an affiliate he's a he sells a product and he's he promotes affiliates to sell his stuff right so if I go to his group and I go to members here <coughs> I can actually go and I can see there's 43,000 members. I can scroll down the list and see the newer ones or members I have things in common with, right? If I click on this one here, I see all the members I have in common with. I could actually just go in here, add a friend. I can send a message to Tim and say, hey, Tim, I noticed you're in Zach's group. I, I see you're in affiliate marketing. That's awesome. I just thought it'd be great to connect, right? I can send a message. People teach to do that, right? And that's not awful. It's not terrible. But the thing you have to remember or realize is that this is cold outreach. It's cold contacting. You can contact people this way, but it's cold contacting. All these people, some of them might have a clue about you, but most of them don't. They've never even seen your post. They have no clue who you are. So if you're sending them a message, you're sending a friend request, you're basically doing cold outreach, which is the lowest uh, possible response right so uh, you, it works because if you are able to send to 100 people you're going to get maybe one or two that are actually going to respond to your message maybe more depends on if you're targeting right and if they have mutual friends like see if i was to go and say everybody who's got at least 50 mutual friends i'll do that with well the ones that have more than a certain number of mutual friends would obviously be more more likely to be in your space right in your niches in your interests the same thing so that definitely <laughs> one way you can do it is use that but I, there but the thing is that with that 
you don't know like the better thing is if I go to Colin's page here let's just go to his page for example I'll just open this in a new tab so if I go to say Colin's page right here and first of all you'll notice that it takes me to the group profile page not his not his post not his page I have to click on this little three thing and whoops my video is a little bit my videos in the way a little bit let's move it a little bit you see that if I click on these three little dots here you see view main profile or block right uh, if I click on view main profile it takes me to his main profile I'll just move my video back so it's actually loading up but it takes me to his page now I can be like okay I'm looking at his post on his page and I'm going to engage on his post right I can comment on his stuff now I know that this guy Colin is posting on Facebook because he wants people to react to his posts right why would you be posting on Facebook if you're not looking for people to notice react comment and that kind of stuff on your post right everybody who's on Facebook who's doing it for business they want the same thing they want people to notice their stuff they want people to comment on their stuff they want people to engage on their stuff they want people to you know buy their stuff as well right they're selling things or whatever now look at this he says he helps top producers pr remote uh top producing remote sales reps by connecting them with their best job opportunities well that's you know that's great that's what he does so here's the thing if I comment on two or three of his posts not much is going to happen it's not much different than me sending him a friend request and a message out of the blue without him even having any clue about me right but if I take his you know URL his 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 uh, profile address if you will or his profile right if I take that put it in some file and make sure I go back and visit his profile every few days and I comment on his stuff whenever he posts stuff he's brand new to me I've never heard of him before right if I comment on his stuff he will eventually after a few maybe maybe it'll take a few weeks maybe it'll take just a few days it really depends on the person and what how busy they are but they will eventually notice you they will ne eventually notice your comments your 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 um, reactions to their posts or whatever because it's going to be in their notifications right so that's so that's one way that well actually that's how I do it right I basically go through here I look at these I say okay Leanne here she's got 37 friends in common I go and I open up her page which again you can't see the URL here but it's the group slash whatever URL it's not the uh, personal profile um and but is she's an affiliate marketer right so but still I go here and I go to main profile right and then I see her main page and now I have her link to her profile and I can comment on her post and now she's going to see my note my comments on her post she's going to see my reactions and her notifications I keep her URL aside and I go back to her pro, pro profile regularly then that's she's eventually going to notice me notice my comments she's going to notice your comments and eventually going to maybe go to your page but not just that Facebook will reward you for engaging on this new person by showing your posts on their feed so if Leanne here for example doesn't do this process of going directly to people's profiles and things like that and she just scrolls through the news feed eventually she's going to see your post in her newsfeed just like every other post that she sees because Facebook is going to reward you for being a person who engages on her profile posts right and <coughs> so you just keep going right you go through this list Robert here Jacqueline maybe Jeremy Rick <coughs> all these people that have a certain number of mutual friends you can probably engage on their posts and they will notice you and eventually over time they will see your posts they will see your comments and that's how you do the um engaging on posts of your most targeted prospects so why do I say that because if I if I'm in affiliate marketing obviously if you're in weight loss or if you're in something else you're not going to be going to this group you're going to go to other groups but you're going to follow the same process you're going to look through the um the list of, of members in the group and you're going to go to their profile and you're going to go engage on some of their posts but you're going to do that regularly instead of like I said instead of using the news feed to decide who you <coughs> who you will be engaging on right okay so there's a better way too obviously there's tools out there like I mean I could I could probably uh, I could probably I don't know if this worked but if I do this I'm just curious because I haven't tried this 
if I just do this like this and I just okay let's say I go all the way to here copy all this and let's actually go into uh, sheets I, I don't know if it'd be sheets let's go to sheets it's a new sheet that I created I don't know why it's taking me to a new sheet okay well let's just paste that in here and see what happens I I did this is the kind of stuff that I haven't tried yet but let me just see what it does if I paste it okay so it gives me the name and then there so it doesn't let it doesn't show it as you know as a as a table but still I get their names right and does it give me a link it gives me a link right so I can actually go to this link if I want <coughs> and there's probably a better way to to do this like using things like google sheets or whatever right I might be able to say import as a csv or something uh, i don't think you can save this from facebook here directly right you, there might be tools that let you extract this list right and maybe i should create one but i do have a tool that does something even better than that because you know if i go through the seven figure affiliate the actual discussion here in this particular group let's say i want to contact the people that are actually engaging in the group that are actually posting right Zach obviously is the admin so he's going to be posting a ton of stuff I don't know if he anybody else posts anything else in here probably not okay but I can still look at the comments I can see right here this particular has 22 comments right so if I just click on view more comments right here I can see the people that are commenting on here right Don Allison Simon right these people are actually engaging in the Facebook group in the post so these people are more likely to actually be active because you know even if I go through this list this Colin here could have been somebody who hasn't posted in in months right he has he does post regularly March 9th <coughs> February 26th not that often right February 8th if I look at the end here 18 hours ago uh, 19 hours ago 22 hours ago she posts like two three times a day if not more 22 hour 22 hours one day ago one day ago so I guess she posts a few times a day right so she would be a great candidate to actually be able to go to her page almost every day and engage on her posts but maybe if I look at the members list I I find a bunch of members but they're not even active some of them don't even post at all they're just they're just members of the group and they just look at stuff but they never post anything so you can't you know go to their page and engage on their stuff because they're not gonna see your stuff even if you I mean if they're not posting anything there's no way that they'll see your stuff if they're not on Facebook um, unless you message them right which would be like I said another option right but this is another way to see who is actually active in the groups and the best way to get this list I mean sure you can use a spreadsheet you can go in here you can copy the urls you know right click copy link address paste that inside of a, <coughs> a spreadsheet or something go to this other one here and paste that one whoops <coughs> go to this other one and paste this other one as well sorry for the cough there Whew. and for the yawn my apologies okay so you can actually get all these by just right clicking and copying view more comments and see more and whatever right you see all these comments over here in this post you can do that you can do that yourself manually but that takes a lot of work definitely a lot of work now I've created a tool called active group users which lets you get that list and work from that list so I'm just going to kind of show you a little bit so basically this tool lets you put groups in you put the groups in that you want and it lets you choose the groups you want and then after you've run it and you've gotten the data if I click on view data here it takes me to the to the actual page over here where it's the data of your your list of the users that are actually active in those groups that you chose so this is going to show us right here that there is a list of 765 results that this is just the list of the people that are actually active in the groups that i chose and you can see the groups are here right and then you can just click on their names to go visit their page right if I just click on this name here and I go there it takes me to that person's Facebook profile and I don't have to track copy things and post paste them in my in a spreadsheet or anything like that I just use this this tool here 
to uh, give me the list of the people that are actually active in the groups right you can see right here the number that's here 12 14 26 8 21 7 those numbers represent how many posts how many comments they've done so you know they're active so if I was to I can actually sort them by the people that have done the most posts in the last 30 days <coughs> so let's just do that just to kind of show you how you can see these are active people look Zach see we, we said Zach Zach the actual group he posted 35 times in the last month which makes sense he would post it probably once a day in his group right uh, Ray Higdon's the same thing he posted 35 whoops get that out of there oops 35 times 33 times for Brian for now 29 times for Maria Marianne one I don't even know who that is but I guess I can't comment on her post which is what it says there uh, 27 26 25 18 15 now those are the people that post in groups what about the people that comment in groups I can actually click here to sort by the number of people that comment on groups <coughs> and uh, now I can see 215 comments from this person which probably is a, a group admin you know somebody who posts a, lo a lot of comments is usually an admin of a group but if I scroll down a little bit and see the ones that posted 70 68 55 46 40 36 31 29 those are people that are probably active very active in the groups and they're commenting on other people's stuff they're trying to build their reputation they're trying to get people to know them that is definitely a great person to be trying to target trying to get to know so they get to know you that is kind of how you actually engage on the people that are your most targeted prospects your most targeted prospects are the people that are in your groups well not necessarily your groups obviously you can you can have your own groups but in the groups that your target market hangs out in right so if you're <coughs> into weight loss well the groups you're going to look into is groups that talk about losing weight that help people to lose weight right you're going to go into those groups and then you're going to get the list of the people that are actually commenting and posting in those groups and you're going to be able to go and visit their profiles right <clears throat> like if I just click on Maria Garcia here which I never visited before uh, she has 31 comments so I don't know if I click on this I can see some of her posts if I wanted to so 69 she did six posts so what are the posts I guess these are French she's she's French so she's posted some French stuff okay now what about her comments so she's got a bunch of comments here these are comments that she's post replied the, the green part is the comments right so she's just replying to posts which is great <coughs> All right so that's great whoops gotta close this up here but if I just click on her name here it takes me to her personal profile not the group profile we don't care about the group profile really I want to go see her page to see if she is posting stuff that now this is a French person which you know I could probably engage with or whatever but because I'm trying to build my brand in English I'm not going to bother because anybody who's French even though they probably understand English because she's commenting on stuff in English um <clears throat> she probably would want French stuff so I'm gonna just close this and then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna say I say not in English so that'll let me know if I ever go to if I ever see her name in the list again I see that she's not in English so I'm not gonna bother going back to her <coughs> to her, her profile again but if I go to say for example somebody who I actually have three days ago let's just go look Gerson Duriberto I have no idea <coughs> let's go to see his page uh let's see if I go to his page what do I get I get a picture I get a post from March 20th again he's Portuguese I think he might not be English either even though he's replying or posting comments this is not so this wouldn't be somebody that I would probably engage with I just close this and I go in here and I oh it says can't I already had a note that I couldn't comment so let me just sort this list without the comments I want to have no notes so without a note click on filter here and let's say I also want only people that I have not visited in at least um, in at least six days I can look at these these I have not visited yet 10 days ago four days ago 10 days ago not yet you can see this four days ago I probably won't want to visit them again 
for another at least another two I've been doing six days so I don't bother so let's just say I put minimum days of six right here and filter again so now it's going to give me the list of just the people that I have not visited in at least six days so right here I've got Don Anderson and I can just go visit her profile right so click on that now the idea here is that as I engage on posts of people I will actually record that I have visited their pro their pro their profile and commented on their post so let me just I, you see all these little things popping up that's because I have some other tools that I've got installed but I just want to see if I can get this uh she's posting reels all right I remember her she just posts she just posts reels which is great so she's focusing on reels which is one of the things that lots of people say do reels well here's a post here and I'm just going to see it's reloaded to the top here. Let me go back down here. Uh, mountain. Oh my. I'm just gonna say, wow, that looks like a that must have been a great hike. Wow, must have been a great hike. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm just gonna I could comment on some of her uh, reels but I just want to do this here don't wait for anything before definitely and I'm just going to like that and then I'm just kind of showing you I just want to actually do the work that I would normally do which is read the post <coughs> and comment on it and uh, and I would normally say something maybe a little bit more than that but for now just to kind of show you <coughs> <coughs> and what's this one saying how can I get rid of that thing uh showing how it's done what does it say some serious respect for those proud and then I'm going to just say wow I'm just going to say that because I couldn't I can't read the, the whole thing because it looks like it's underneath this thing <clears throat> but now I've got three basically the, this is the idea I've engaged on three posts but you know if you don't know what you've done with a particular prospect you don't know when it's time to actually reach out to them right <clears throat> so now if I close this I go over here and just say three posts three posts and I save it now I've got this it's green because it means I visited just now right in the last 24 hours also it gives me these numbers anyways I'm not going to spin that stuff because that's part of another training but if you wanted to use a tool like this you definitely can and you can reach out but I just kind of wanted to let you know how do you find the people that are actually active that are actually your best target market well you like I said you have to go through the groups you have to go see who's actually commenting and <laughs> you know imagine imagine if you did that yourself where you would actually go to every single one of these comments put them in some spreadsheet keep them and then and then you know tomorrow you come back here and you look at the list you look at the comments again you see who's who newly commented <coughs> and how do you know who has already commented that you've already gotten your spreadsheet <coughs> right now <coughs> <coughs> my apologies sorry 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 um I was trying to keep that in but it just didn't want to stay in my apologies okay so you got your list here and your and this is not what I mean but you would have their name and their link their you know maybe you have a number here that says how many times they commented so every single time you find them in the group here in the comments you have to go back and see oh do I already have this person but how do you know like you know how do you keep track of okay Jennifer Hill here <coughs> she commented on this post now how do I know tomorrow when I come back and look at this post how do I know that Jennifer Hill I already have her in here as one comment right on this one post so does that mean I have to keep track of every single post that they comment on Whew. well yeah I guess you do <clears throat> but doing that manually is a crazy amount of work obviously right but it's possible and some people you know have done that because that's basically how we come up with these ideas is because people are doing things <clears throat> themselves they're doing these things using the their 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 you know manually or maybe even remembering in their head oh yeah I've seen this name lots of times I know that you know I've visited their profile lots of times because every time you go maybe you'll recognize their, their picture their profile picture maybe you'll recognize their page 
they're they're you know things like that so you end up remembering that you visited somebody multiple times and maybe you think okay now it's time to reach out to them right but what if you're not you're not sure what if you don't really know because you're not doing this every day you're doing it every couple days right and then you start to forget things you don't really remember because maybe mj here you visited them like i don't know a month or two ago you won't necessarily remember what their page looks like right unless you went almost every day which is totally ridiculous to do that to every single you know there's like what look forty-four thousand people in his group right so that's the thing you got to find a way to actually figure out who's active in groups who's the best person to actually reach out to who is your most targeted prospects right who is it who is it and you need to get this by the way this ebook is really nice a really really nice little ebook that kind of goes through the five steps of, of um, the five simplest social media organic steps to getting the sale go to attraction uh, what is it uh, attraction marketing secret attraction marketing truth attraction marketing truth right attraction marketing truth let's do i have the link here let me see if i have it in here so i can actually put it in here uh, i don't have that link i don't think <coughs> but i do have this link which is uh active group users this link here which is the software i was telling you about this software here right if you want to try it out um attract active group users.com it'll take you to this page here which basically talks about the tool and you can actually uh, watch this video here which kind of explains how do you actually use the tool just click on this play right here and the tool will then the video will, the video will start to play i'm kind of explaining how to use the tool how to install it uh and all that stuff with this video here <coughs> but basically there's links here but yeah you just go to activegroupusers.com to go get that and there might be a bonus there might be a way to get a, a free upgrade or things like that depending on what uh when you're watching this video right or when you're reading this blog <coughs> but really that's the secret you can go through your facebook feed you can engage on the posts in the feed you can but like i said over time it will not be the best people to engage on because eventually they're going to be all the same they're always going to be the same right it's just never going to be new people right it's always going to be these original same 20 maybe 30 friends that you're going to see because this is actually friends and pages you follow right it's it's not uh random posts of random people at least not that often sometimes it's post friends of friends right that kind of stuff but it's but it's it's not under your control the platform controls it you want to take over you want to control it you want to be the one that decides whose post you visit not the platform you don't want the platform to decide for you right at least i don't and i'm sure you don't either all right so hopefully this uh had some interest it i hopefully hopefully explain this uh not too bad and we'll see you in the next video this has been Course Income Secrets, the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.